Some people may remember the British TV show Telecubbies. It was a rather weird show and generally disturbing. Speakers were everywhere and there was a sun with a baby's face on it, plus a scary segment involving a lion and a bear which was edited after complaints. Today I went to my local HMV. The store clerk had recently gotten a pre-owned DVD. It said, Tell Cubby's lost episode, The Playground. The clerk told me that the customer who sold it was extremely upset, and he said that he did not want to watch it anymore. I bought it anyway, despite the warnings about the upset customer. When I got home, I put the disc in my DVD player. It skipped the BBC logo and went straight to the intro. Everything was okay at first. The intro was normal until the speaker that was supposed to say, Time for telecubbies, said something disturbing instead. Life is not about anything, it is a consequence. I thought that it was rather weird for a kid's TV show. It started with Tinky Winky sitting at the table. He was rather sad and depressed, and he was crying. It wasn't fake crying, but actual real human crying. Then it skipped to another scene. It depicted a rather CGI-looking playground with a climbing frame that looked like the Telcubby's house. Whoever made the CGI was rather crap at it. It was all wireframe. But then, a sickening scene appeared. There were children, but they were committing seppuku. Blood was stained everywhere, along with realistic-looking intestines and organs scattered across the ground. I hurled in the bathroom from witnessing this. Then I came back out, and a final phrase from the cubby I I speaker was spoken. It said, life is meaningless. The truth is that you are all going to die a horrible death. No one understands it. A nuclear bomb then hit Tel Cubby land. The baby son was crying rather than its normal happy face, and its face was soaked in blood. After that, a picture of the playground appeared with the Tel Cubbies hanging on gallows. Blood was seeping from their necks as they died. Behind them was the Telcubby's home in flames. The baby son was crying like before, and again it was covered with blood. I vomited again, this time onto my duvet. After that, the scene cut to the end credits. But at the end, instead of the Ragdoll Productions logo, there was a message that I couldn't understand, but what looked like either Russian or Ukrainian. I turned it off and rang up Ragdoll Productions about the episode. They said that they had 237 complaints, and that it was worse than the Lion and Bear episode. They also said there was a man who worked on it called Christian Johnson. He had a friend who went to a playground, but apparently he was on drugs and was depressed to the point of committing suicide. He was a CGI artist, but he never got to complete the episode, because progress was halted when Ragdoll Productions found out what it was. It was, by mistake, sent to the BBC. They aired it without realizing the content. After just five minutes of the episode, complaints started ringing in. Parents said it was disturbing for their children and the BBC took it off air immediately. Christian killed himself after the BBC aired it, fearing that life is not about anything and that it is a consequence. After hearing this, I ripped up the disc and smashed it. I couldn't sleep for the whole night. I've had nightmares about it for weeks.